بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين من يهدي الله فهو المهتد ومن يضلل فلن تجد له وليا مرشدا رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني أفقه قولي ربنا لا تزغ قلوبنا بعد إذ هديتنا وهب لنا من لدنك رحمة إنك أنت الوهاب الحمد لله الذي هدانا لهذا وما كنا لنهتدي لولا أن هدانا الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Dear children, today إن شاء الله we're going to start سورة النبأ سورة النبأ uh, is the first سورة in جزء 30 and إن شاء الله we're going to take it in three parts and today is the first part of it from آية 1 till آية 16 At the beginning, uh, just to know النبأ what is the meaning of النبأ in English. You will find I already uh, here wrote uh, this meaning that Naba is breaking news. Naba means breaking news. What's meant by breaking news? Anyone can tell me? What's meant when I tell you it is a breaking news? Usually when we are yes, yeah, Medina. Hmm. Like uh, when the trumpet, when there's a, the trumpet uh, before the day of judgment. Yeah, yeah. We uh, will not go now for the exact meaning. We'll just um, now explain it in in our life. When you are having, uh, for example, watching the TV programs, and suddenly you will find that there is announcement about a breaking news. What does it mean? What does it happen at that time? At that time, uh, if you are watching any TV program and there is a breaking news, they will stop this program immediately and start to tell you something very important happened, as, for example, earthquake or something happened in the, in the nation itself. They want to warn the people. They want to say important news. So breaking news here is that important and uh, must be mentioned quickly this type of news, and this is means an naba because if it is ordinary or a normal news that we can say, and you can see in the newspaper or such things, it's called khabar in Arabic. But when we say naba, this means a breaking news. Okay, this is what literally means breaking news in Arabic language. Then we're going to have now uh, the meaning of breaking news in this ayah, in the ayat coming, inshallah, in the surah. But what I wanted to tell you about breaking news, how important the surah is talking about, talking about a very important thing that we're going to discover in this surah, what is this important that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to tell us, the breaking news, and how people will react towards this news, some of them will believe this news and others will not believe and what will be the uh, uh, the rewards of those believers and what will be the uh, recompense of those disbelievers, okay? So we'll start the first ayah. The first ayah is saying Amma yatasa'alun what does it mean, Amma Yatasa'alun? Who knows? Amma Yatasa'alun. <clears throat> the one who knows just raise his or her hand. Amma Yatasa'alun. So, what does it mean, Amma Yatasa'alun? Yes, Ya Amsh. Does it mean okay. about what are they asking one another? Excellent. So here, the beginning of the ayah is Amma. The, the word Amma only is about what? Means about what? Yet alone, they are asking each other. They are asking each other. So now, the ayah is giving you an 
important scene as if you're watching something or uh, a view and this view is a group of people that maybe they are worrying or um, they are uh, having a conversation with each other uh, and they start to talk to each other and this is important thing it's not normal so this is the first area is giving you you know um to make you anxious to know what's going on now you are starting to read the ayah from the surah so the first ayah is coming to tell you about what they are asking each other so what about what they are asking each other so it's it's a very interesting introduction to the surah to make you more attentive and more focused to know what's happening what's happening what why those you, you can imagine now you have the, the the image in your mind a group of people that they are gathered together start to talk to each other there is something abnormal happening the it's not the normal it is not the ordinary uh, day it's an extra day with breaking news something is happening people are talking to each other now you want to know people are talking to each other about what amma yatasa'alun about what they are asking or talking each other so the second area is come to you to reply of what's in your mind what they are talking to each other so the ayah is coming they are talking about an means here about and naba al azim who knows the meaning of naba al azim who can tell me al naba al azim anji you know Ruqayya. the great news excellent so al naba al azim this is the great news about the great news okay so here my question is the great news what is the great news here stands for what who knows yes Ruqayya. it refers to the day of judgment resurrection let us be more uh, accurate resurrection in you know during the day of judgment during the day of judgment. So this is the breaking news. People are talking to each other about that. Resurrection during the day of judgment, okay? This is the great news. Then we'll come to Ayah 3. Now we uh, we uh, know that what is the great news and the people are talking about uh, now Ayah 3 is telling us Alladheena and uh, Nabi Al-Azim Alladhi sorry Alladhi hum fihi mukhtalifun now Alladhi hum fihi mukhtalifun what does it mean Alladhi means that that belongs to the Day of Judgment, or the uh, this uh, great news that home fihi they are home fihi they are muhtalifun. What is muhtalifun? Who knows muhtalifun? Ah, huh? yeah. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. Mukhtalifun hmm. means what? Ahmed. He's a Excellent. Excellent. So that they are in disagreement. Disagreement. Disagreement about what? About uh, this great uh, breaking news or this great news so now the idea is started to be more clear for us what the uh, surah wants to tell us there is a breaking news there is a great news people are talking to each other and they are in disagreement 
what does it mean this agreement means there are two groups they divided into two groups one believing and one disbelieving so when you have this agreement means that there is a concept or a perspective that people are agree on and at the same time another group they are not agreeing on so this agreement happened here so this agreement give us an idea that they are two groups two groups one believing and the other is not this is what we all have from such a very short ayah in ayah 3 then ayah 4 is telling kalla sayalamun here kalla sayalamun means no they will come to know no here kalla means no they will come to know then ayah three uh, ayah four, four, uh, five is repeating again thumma then no they will come to know type now let us try to understand this now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying kalla, no. They will come to know. Those people will come and see what they are disagreeing with. Now, this uh, no is coming to whom? To the believers or disbelievers? Uh, who can tell me? No. Coming for whom? Believers or disbelievers? Yes, yeah, Angie. This is the disbelievers. Excellent. It comes from uh, for the disbelievers. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling them, no, it's not that what you are saying or disagree about the day of judgment will not happen or resurrection will not happen. It's no, it's not like that. You will come to know. Then in ayah five, he's telling them, then they know uh, then no they will come to know so we have kalla sayalamun then the ayah five including one word more then no they will come to know here in the tafsir he's telling us that it is a type of threat that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is making for them warning and threat uh, about that no they will know and no they will know now my question when they will know when those disbelievers will know it is truly there will be day of judgment and resurrection when who can tell me when the disbeliever will know that there is a day of judgment and truly there is yes yeah, angie or heidi yes angie or heidi okay Go on. Uh, I I think that they will know on the day itself. They will know when? When they will know? Like on the day of judgment itself. When they will be resurrected, yes. And when, when at what time else also they will know? Who can tell me? During day of judgment, this is one answer. The second? Who knows the second? When they will know? Before the day of judgment. Huh. Before the day of judgment, when the disbeliever will truly know that there is day of judgment and they will be resurrected. Who knows? Huh. Yes, Ya Ruqayya. When they see the hellfire itself or enter it? This all happened during the day of judgment, right? I'm now asking when they will know that before the day of judgment. Ah, who knows? Ah. Okay, I think no one knows. So the first time or the first station that they know that there will be day of judgment, they will be resurrected ba uh, back during their 
during their death when they see the angels coming to take their souls. Remember the Surah Al-Nazi'at, al -Nazi'at, the angels that they are pushing or pulling strongly the souls of the disbelievers. At that time, they truly believed and knowed, knew that there will be a day of judgment. So this is the first time they will know during their death. And the second time they will know during the day of judgment itself, as you mentioned. Okay, so these are the two places or the timings, the two timings they will know truly that will be day of judgment. Okay, clear for everyone up till now? Any questions? Time. So here the first six ayahs told us about the importance of the day of judgment and how people are uh, divided into two groups. Uh, believers and disbelievers and how those disbelievers will truly know about that during their death and then during the day of judgment itself. Now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ayat we have from 6 to 16 are talking about the uh, power of Allah, the proof of ability of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he can resurrect that Allah will resurrect them. Allah is giving them and giving us also as the believers a proof about his ability, great ability to create different things and amazing matters. And he brings this as a proof, his ability to do whatever he wishes concerning the matter of hereafter. Starting by Ayah 6, which saying, Alam naj'al al-arda mihada. What does it alam naj'al? It means haven't we made al-ard, is all of us know al-ard is the earth. We made the earth mihada. What's mihada means? Who knows mihada? Hmm. Mihada. Yes, ya Medina. What's mihada means? Uh, a resting place. Excellent. So haven't we made the earth is resting place? And when we go to the meanings of mihada in Arabic language, mihada means bed, like the bed. When you go to your bed during night, so you will rest, rest in your bed. So the earth is a resting place. Resting place means what? Means we can live on it. We can uh, have uh, travel from one place to another. There is a, a roads and the streets. And there is uh, houses, buildings, all that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made, made it for us. And we find Ayah 7 coming to talk about the mountains. I think we took this before. And my question to you now, what is the relation between the earth and the mountains? Who can tell me? The relation between the earth and mountains. Why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created mountains? Inji. It, it holds the, uh, the mountains hold the earth together. It, it the, ayah, the ayah 6 is telling you that the earth is the resting place. Now Allah is telling you how it made he made it resting place by the presence of mountains. The mountains is act as a supporters supporters for the earth from earthquakes from uh, being uh, not shaking or quaking from time to time so here when allah say well jibala awtada and mountains as wedges or supporters and we mentioned about that before that the height of the mountain is what we see on the surface of the earth is just 20% of the whole height of the mountain. The uh, total height of the mountain is 20% uh, uh, over the surface of the earth and 80% under the earth. So under deep, deep in the earth that we cannot see. This deep part that we cannot see that uh, make uh, the earth more resting and more uh, to be kept in place, uh, although that there is earthquakes happen in certain places of the earth, but still we have 
the earth is not quaking uh, most of the time because of the presence of these mountains. And we said who, uh, what, uh, or who, um, where is the place which is the center of the earth? Who can tell me? Center of the earth is in, I need others to, yes, yeah, Zahra, can you tell us? Where is the place which is the center of the earth? In Mecca. Excellent, in Mecca. That's why Mecca, a lot, a lot of mountains present in Mecca. Okay, we'll go to Ayah 8. What's Ayah 8 is saying? وَخَلَقْنَاكُمْ أَزْوَاجًا And we created you in pairs. Azwaja here in pairs. What is the meaning of in pairs? Can anyone tell me? In pairs, what does it mean? Yes, ya yeah, Bunyamin, tell me, what's mean in pairs? Huh? Male and female. Excellent, what else? Maybe water what and else in pairs? You know, of course, all of you studying physics, I think. So even yeah. in physics, you have protons and neutrons, right? This is one yeah. exa example of the pairs. All right. Electrons, sorry, proton and electrons. Um, like that, etc. We'll find many things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Also, we can add the night and the day, the moon and the sun. The earth and the heaven, all these in bears, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created them. So when you see in bears, just not say male or female only. No, everything Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, created uh, in bears. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in, uh, in ayah 9 is saying what? وَجَعَلْنَا نَوْمَكُمْ سُبَاتَ Here, the word سُبَاتَ وَجَعَلْنَا We have made, we have made your sleep. We have made your sleep. Subata. What is Subata? Ya Am. Tell me, what is the meaning of Subata? Hmm. I'm not sure. Okay. Who knows? Yes, Medina. Rest. Yes, for rest. Subata is for rest. Jalna naumakum subata. We have made your sleep for rest or for resting. This is subata. Wajalna alayla libasa. And we have made. We have made. Layl, all of us know the night. Uh, libasa, what is libasa? Who knows libasa? Elias, can you tell us? Yeah. What is libasa means? Libasa means like um, covering. Excellent. Covering what? Like you. Oh, wait, no, I mean the night, the night, night. The night covering what? Sky. The night covering what? Sky. Sky. No. Who knows? The night covering what? The, the night covering with its darkens because it comes with its darkens. So with its darkens, covering what? Yes, Angie. The the sun, the morning light. The day, the day light. Excellent. What what else? Covering the darkens of the uh, night. Mm. Think, think. What else? The night covers. Cover the daylight and. Hmm. Zahra, you have answer? Um, does it cover us? 
excellent covering the people, the people also covered by the darkens. This is a time to sleep. When you sleep, it's come for you, the darkens, to tell you to cover you. And this is another uh, covering of the darkens of the night, the day and the people and every creation has been uh, uh, covered or disappeared. That's why when you are walking during night in a street, if this street it's not lighting, there is no lights in this street, you cannot walk properly. You don't know what's happening. Maybe someone is hiding either animal or people or what. So the darkens of the night is covering also the people, the creatures, everything Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, created. Okay? Then after that, وَجَعَلْنَا النَّهَارَ مَعَاشَ And we have made the day ma'asha. What is here the day? Ma'asha. What is ma'asha means? Hmm. Maisha, who knows? Maisha, yes, Rukaya, can you tell us? Maisha, Maisha, Rukaya, uh, Bunyamin, what's Maisha? Mm, Ahmed. Maasha, no one knows. Elias, what's Maasha? Ah, Medina. For livelihood. L <laughs> yes, livelihood. This is what may mentioned here in the application. This is right. But we're going to go deeper, yeah, yeah, Medina. Then this meaning livelihood. Anyone knows what livelihood means? Livelihood. What does it mean? Yes, Yanji. Is it like a time for people to like go outside and like work and do Excellent. the same thing? It's to time do? for people. Actually, just to make it easy, the word ma'asha is coming from the Arabic root aish, aish. And aish means living. So what we are doing in our living, so the day, we, if you're going to translate it, make it for living. The day for living. What we are doing during we living means going uh, to work, going to school, uh, or having picnic uh, school, for example, or picnic or whatever. This is all what we're going to do. We're going to do it during the day. So this is the living. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made for us the day that we can do our activities during this day. Okay, وَبَنَيْنَا فَوْقَكُمْ سَبْعًا شِدَادًا Here, وَبَنَيْنَا. What is the meaning of بَنَيْنَا? بَنَيْنَا. Ha. Who knows بَنَيْنَا? Ha. Who can tell me? Yes, ya. Who? Amr, you know بَنَيْنَا? بَنَيْنَا. Okay. Yes, ya Angie. Banaina. Constructed. Yes, constructed all or the we built, yani. and we have we built above you, Falkakum above you. Saban means seven. Shidada. Shidada strong. Strongly. Uh, seven or it could be seven strong what seven strong stand for who knows seven strong yes Elias is it the skies the seven heavens or sky yes you are right so the seven heavens or sky so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us, look upwards, look above you. You will find the sky and what we are seeing in the sky, this wide, vast sky is only the first sky. We have seven from that, from this sky. So Allah is telling you, we have created for you and built for you seven skies. وَجَعَلْنَا سِرَاجًا وَهَاجَ آيَةً 
وجعلنا means and we have made سراجا وحاجة what does it mean سراجا وحاجة سراجا means lamp سراجا means lamp and وحاجة means shining so we have made shining lamp and actually um wahaja also have the meaning of shining with heat with heat because allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he is shining with heat or with warm this is the difference between the 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 shine of the sun and the shine of the moon because in the moon, Allah is, is talking about the moon by mentioning that the moonlight, but the sun shine. What is the difference between shining and lighting? Shining is giving you light with warm, with heat, but the uh, lighting, like the moon, is just giving you the, the light. And this is the difference between the light of the moon and the light of the sun. So here, when we say, Warm lamp, so it stands for what? Very easy now. Huh? Stand for what's the warm lamp? Hamsh. The warm lamp stands for what? Hmm. Is it Amsh. the sun? Excellent. So the warm lamp stands for sun. Then, Aya 14. وَأَنزَلْنَا And we have sent down وأنزلنا من المعصرات from here the word المعصرات who knows المعصرات yes يا أمش the rain clouds the, yes المعصرات is the, the clouds full of rain full of water yeah the clouds full of Water that will be rain afterwards. Full, so the clouds, ma'asirat, full of water, ma'asirati, ma'an tajjaja. The water is coming from these clouds is tajjaja. Tajjaja means that a lot, a lot of water is coming. Tajjaja. Okay, so here the word tajaja means abundantly. Abundantly. A lot, a lot of water is coming, full of water. This is the clouds coming down abundantly. Okay, clouds full of water abundantly coming as rain. This is another thing that Allah created. What will happen to this water when it uh, fall on the soil? Now the earth, there is a soil and the water is falling on the soil. What will happen? لِنُخْرِجَ بِهِ حَبًّا وَنَبَاتًا So لِنُخْرِجَ بِهِ لِنُخْرِجَ بِهِ means that we that we لِنُخْرِجَ that we extract By it, habban wa nabata. Habban grains, nabata and vegetables. Or nabata is yeah, vegetations. We can say vegetations. Now, my question: to extract, extract from what? Here, the ayah didn't mention extract from what. Just the nukhrija extract by this rain or by this water coming over the rain grains and vegetation now my question extract from where where the vegetation and the grain will come up or will raise or will grow from where uh, from from the soil from the soil from the soil the plants will be a come and grow up 
And lastly, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that not only the grains and vegetation, but also what? وَجَنَّاتٍ الفافة. That uh, الفافة means that they are interwinning to each other. Interwinning. When you have uh, in um, to the, a lot of um, uh, trees that they are entwined together. وَجَنَّاتٍ الفافة And the gardens and win together. Okay, and gardens and win together. So all these things now, as we mentioned, a, a 10 ayahs, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking about his ability and his creation of different things that we are seeing every day. Every day we are seeing the, the sun and the day and the night and uh, we are sleeping during night, we are doing our uh, job during day, and there is a rain coming and the vegetation that we are eating. This is every day. Every day we are seeing all these things. So Allah is telling us that the, the creator who did all these things for us, he can resurrect back us again during the day of judgment. That's why the coming ayah is telling, Inna yawma al kana miqata. The day of judgment is the true timing for the appointed time for the resurrection. So the one who created all these marvelous and um, a, a fantastic uh, things, he is able to resurrect us back. And since that no one came and told that I am the creator, so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling in his book now in the Quran that he is the creator. And no one challenged him in this creation. And no one say, I, I, I am the God, I am the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is just one Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we have to believe in him. We have to believe that he is a creator and he is a one creator. And his, this word is the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because he's giving you of what you are seeing now. Every day you are seeing the sun, the moon, the day, the night, the rains, the earth, the heaven, the mountains. Every day we are seeing that. So the one who created all these marvelous things, he will be able to resurrect us back. I say this and I thank Allah for you. Subhanakallah, bihamdika, la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruk wa atubu ilaykum.